morning. There's a lot more cloud around compared to yesterday and we've had the odd spot of rain. And that's a pretty good forecast for here for the rest of the day, plus breezy. Now, for the rest of us, there's some rain around. And in fact, the Met Office do have out a severe weather warning for heavy rain, especially so for parts of Wales and especially so to higher ground. Some parts could have as much as an inch, maybe even more than that. So that's 25 millimetres or more. And you can see in the satellite picture the amount of cloud that we currently do have. So for our last get this morning, there's still the risk of the odd spot of rain around, a lot of cloud as well, and chilly if you're exposed to the breeze. But for the rest of the country, as we move further north into the Midlands and East Anglia, again, quite a lot of cloud around. And for the northeast of England, here we've got some rain. For the northwest, we've got some heavy rain, especially so across North Lancashire. And again, rather windy or breezy, depending on where you are. For Scotland, some breaks in the east, showers in the north and the west. Some of them could be heavy through the course of the day, breezy as well. And for Northern Ireland, compared to yesterday, a brighter start, but still one or two showers. Then we come across the Irish Sea into Wales and we're looking at some heavy rain, especially across Snowdonia, for example. Windy gales in exposed coasts. And for the southwest of England, we're looking again at some showers, but a lot of cloud. So through the day, the rain doesn't really move that far. It will eventually get into the north of England and swing into parts of the southwest as well. And to the north of that, again, Scotland seeing some showers in the north and the west, as indeed will Northern Ireland, and the odd spot by two o'clock around Royal Ascot, for example. Through this evening and overnight, though, the rain heads south. And again, some of that's going to be heavy as it pushes right across England and Wales, eventually clearing Wales and much of the rest of the country. And for the southeastern corner, although we'll start rather wet tomorrow morning, it won't be too long before the rain eventually moves away. And then a much better day for most of us tomorrow. Some brightness, some sunshine, but still some showers in the north and the west and still rather breezy. And that's how it's looking. Back to you two. And you're looking lovely. As ever. Is, I'm, I'm getting losing count of the hats. Is it um, number one or number three you've got on there now? <laughs> this is number one and number three, Billy. I've worn it before. I've got another two, which I'm just going to rotate through the morning because it's not often you get the chance to wear hats, actually. In fact, it's not often you get the chance to see how hats are made. But I was in that privileged position last week. Take a look at this. Come to the home of the hatters, but it's hatters of a different sort that I'm looking for today. <laughs> Peter, Luton, of course, is not just famous for football, it's famous for the hat industry as well. It's been here for centuries. That is correct. It started centuries ago with wheat in the fields being platted by women who brought the wheat into the town and made hoods that originally then made hats. Today, sadly, there's not so many in the trade. When I started, there were 400. Today, there's maybe five, six or seven. How long have you been in the trade yourself? Oh. 52 years. And now you've handed the reins over to your daughter Suzanne. My daughter Suzanne, who's now going to show you all around the factory. Hi, Suzanne. What are you doing here? Ah, well, I'm actually cutting up straw, which is why I'm using these enormous scissors. They are huge. <laughs> well, what I want to show you is how we get from this stage, which is literally cutting the raw material. This special straw comes from the Philippines, and it's the most popular straw in the hat trade at the moment. It's called cinnamon, and how we get from here to the finished item. What's happening here, Suzanne? Well, this is where we actually block the straw. Blocking, as you can see, is done on aluminium hat blocks that are heated to quite a nice high temperature. We pull three layers of the cinnamon straw, over the lower part of the block and then it's left to set because the straw is actually impregnated with glue or stiffening. This is activated by spraying with water, then the heat dries it and sets the shape so in the straw. So melted together? Yes. Here we are in the machine department and Liz is about to assemble the crown to the brim of the hat. Um, and as you can see, we've cut off the edges, we've put a wire in the, in the edge of the brim and we've bound it with a nice piece of cinema straw. <laughs> and now for the moment of truth. Oh, would you put it on me, please? Yes. I'm not very good at putting on hats. I always have them at a squeegee angle. Oh, Suzanne, it is gorgeous. I love it. 
What do you think, Chris? I think she looks ravishing. Have a look, another look. There she is. <laughs> Does she look great? Look well at all done, that Carol. detail and it all hands sewn. They made it look so easy, didn't they? I know, they definitely did. Well, Carol wasn't the only good looking person. Well, the best looking person, but not only good looking person <laughs> around yesterday. This is a flavour of Royal Ascot yesterday in the bright sunshine. A couple of old guards there in their traditional green outfits, and uh, a lot of women got dressed up yesterday at elaborate outfits. Look at that hat. That lady's a milliner. She comes every year, but you would think that would be quite heavy to wear. Any particular colours outstanding yesterday, Carol? Uh, lots of florals around, a lot of black and white, but that might be influenced by the anniversary of My Fair Lady, which is 50th anniversary, I yes. think, on the stage. Mm, in my goodness, I, I can just suddenly think, well, I should be getting my rosettes out today because there are some very attractive women. You're going to be putting them on attractive men as well. I most certainly am. What long legs he's got. He has indeed. Uh, of course, it wasn't only that. You managed to go to a fashion show as I well yesterday. I certainly did. I actually went to four fashion shows yesterday, Chris, to Philip Tracy, Amanda Wakeley, Matthew Williamson and Vivian Westwood. They were amazing. In fact, some of the models had only 45 seconds to change their outfits. Can you believe that? Imagine yeah. doing that in the morning. Well, what I can believe is if there's clothes and there's champagne, you were going to be there. But you look beautiful. I like that hat as well. That was Philip Tracy, actually. In fact, do you know who else wore Philip Tracy yesterday? Go on, then. She's in all the papers today. Zara Phillips, was That's it? That's the very ah, one. Yeah, Zara very Phillips. One. She did look stunning, didn't she? She did. She looked gorgeous. In fact, isn't she with Willie Carson in that picture? Yeah, Willie Carson, who is actually going to be with us at around, I think, is it 10 to 9 yeah. later on this morning? He always looks so dapper. And I think he's having a suit made for him at the moment. Lovely. Look forward but to I thought this. they looked great. But not, obviously, as great as us. <laughs> but that's pretty difficult to beat, isn't it? Back to you two. No I false modesty. <laughs> yeah, hang on a second. Carol, I mean, you know, yes. you're at Ascot watching a horse racing. You're at fashion shows. I mean... Do you get any time to do the weather? <laughs> <laughs> You've been getting it all morning, Billy. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I tell you, though, if I could change the weather and make it lovely and sunny and warm, I would. Yeah, well, that's something for you to work on. We'll see you later. Thank okay. you. Thanks, guys. It's not really work, is it? <laughs> huh? Spending all day like at say. fashion shows and getting kitted out. They invited us to ask it last year. No, the year before last. Ago. Two years ago, and we haven't been invited back. No. Uh, you can watch all the action Royal Ascot on BBC One at 1.45 today. It moves over to BBC Two at 3.20 and, of course, Radio 5 Live again to have coverage throughout the day. You shouldn't have fallen asleep in the Royal Box. I think that's probably what <laughs> Snoring and dribbling didn't go down well, did it, really? <laughs> <laughs> Here's Aaron. <laughs> all right, guys. Those